Hi, in this video we will show you how to measure your VPN connection speed with different countries. We will perform separate tests with and without a VPN tunnel to compare the results. There are different approaches on this, but we believe that using IPRF tool may ensure more precise results. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to iperf.fr website and download the binaries. It is available for different platforms, but we will use macOS, so let's go ahead and download the latest binary executable. We should click on it to extract the files, and iperf shall now be available in our downloads folder. Let's now open up our terminal and change directory to downloads folder, where our package is located. To test if iperf works correctly, we can type iperf3 in the terminal and hit enter. It will display the help page with all the different parameters we can use. It may be helpful if you want to dig deeper into iperf, but we will not need that for now, so let's clear the terminal window. We can now run our first speed test. We will measure the network performance between our workstation and publicly available iperf server. There are publicly available iperf servers and we will use both public and private servers for our tests. You can find different public servers in the internet or on iperf official website. There are servers from multiple countries publicly available there, but for our first test we will use the one located in France, ping.online.net. This server runs iperf on TCP and UDP ports from 5200 to 5209. In our test we should use something between those two numbers. Let's get back to the terminal window to specify which parameters we want iperf to use. First parameter is capital O, which stands for omit. We set it equal to 3, so the first 3 seconds of the test will not be included in the final results. This way we can skip initial TCP slowdown of test connection. Next parameter is a small n. It sets the amount of traffic we want to transmit. For this test we will set it to 400 MB. It is important to set this value high enough so that the test runs for at least 20 seconds. If you have faster internet connection you should increase that value. On the other hand, for slower connections, smaller value should be used. Next one is a capital P, which goes for the number of parallel client streams to run. We set it to 10. One of the most important parameters is capital R, which stands for reverse. It reverses the direction of traffic, so it runs from the server to the client. In our example, the traffic will be sent from iperf server ping.online.net to our workstation. This direction of traffic is similar to downloading something from the internet to our computer. Now we need to set a small c parameter which tells iperf that we are running as a client and to specify a host name and the port of the target server. In this scenario we will use ping.online.net as a host name and we will set a port with a small p. Uh, we can use something between 5200 and 5209. Let's use 5204. We can see that the server is busy running a test, so let's try different ports, for example 5205. And now the test is running. Now the test is completed and we can see that it was done in almost 22 seconds and we've sent 400 megabytes and the receiver and sender speeds are both 153 megabits per second. So what are the sender and receiver? In our case, in reverse mode, sender is iperf server uploading information to your computer. That is the same direction of traffic as if you were downloading something from the internet to your computer. Receiver stands for your computer receiving information from iperf server, meaning that it downloads information from iperf server. It is the same direction of traffic which corresponds to download and both cases are similar but the difference is that uh, in sender iperf initiates upload and in receiver you are initiating download from iperf server. In our case both results are similar so let's write them down in our table. Now we shall do the same test but with active VPN connection. For that let's open LuVPN and connect to friends using OpenVPN protocol running on UDP 53 port. As you can see our IP have changed and we are now connected to LuVPN. So let's do the same test to compare the results. 
Now the test is finished and we can see that the channel capacity decreased a little to 138 megabits per second. Let's write it down in our table. So why the channel capacity decreased a little? Because in the first case we have used a direct connection to iperf server which was not encrypted and in the second case all of the traffic passed through the VPN server and the VPN tunnel was encrypted and then decrypted to be sent to uh, iperf server. These encryption and decryption processes slightly slow down our connection speeds. Next, we want to do the same tests with United Kingdom and Australia. Unfortunately, there are no publicly available iperf servers in the United Kingdom, so we've deployed our own. To perform the test, we need to change the hostname, and in this case, it will be iperf uk dot zero pointer dot net. Let's run the test. So we have a channel capacity of 148 megabits per second with UK without using a VPN connection. Let's write it down. We shall now do the same test while connected to LVPN United Kingdom with the same OpenVPN 53 UDP protocol. We can see that the channel capacity is 127 uh, sender and 125 receiver, so let's write down an average of 126. Now let's do the long distance connection tests with Australia. And to do so, we disconnect the VPN and change the corresponding parameters to Australian Hyperf server. And we have 135 sender, 133 receiver, so let's write down an average of 134 for connection without VPN to Australia. Now let's connect to LVPN Australia using OpenVPN 53 UDP to perform the same test with an active VPN connection. And we have 119 megabits per second for both sender and receiver. Let's write it down. Now that we have finished the tests, we can see exactly how your channel capacity changes with and without a VPN due to encryption and decryption applied to the channel. Using the techniques shown in this video, you can measure connection speeds of different network environments and VPN tunnels. At LeVPN, we take connection speeds very seriously and we strive to provide the best network performance possible. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our technical support team at levpn.com.